mother ask a stranger, a shopper in the store, what they think about the product rather than listen to your salespeople? Yes, yes. Now, apart from understanding the shopper, there needs to be a link with the salespeople. I want to share with you a story about Blue. Blue is one of my clients in Dubai. They sell shower filters. Um, they came to me a couple of years back and said, we've been doing great sales, but now um, uh, the sales have stopped, plateaued. What's going on? So I audited the whole business, starting with the brand. And what I found is actually, they don't have a brand, they have a product. It's an excellent product, but it's all technical. So look at all the uh, collateral material, packaging, narrative. It's everything technical, but nothing that touches the lives of the consumers. What is the gratification that I'm getting out of getting this product? So we did the consumer work, we did the branding work, and people were telling us about that shower experience, how rejuvenating, refreshing their feel that they're alive. Yes, there are, you know, uh, uh, positives about technically, like, you know, my, my, uh, my hair loss, the, the skin, all of that's great. But it is that gratification at the end. And the strap line we chose was, choose life. We launched a new packaging, da da da. Now the second part is, where are they selling? They sell in kiosks in all the big malls in Dubai. So, I ran a, an exercise, observation and mystery shopper. I needed to look at the traffic, the shopper profile, the interaction of the salespeople together and with the customer. Now what I realized, that the salespeople were excellent. They know the product inside out, every little piece of specs. But you know what? They were not interested in listening to the shopper. So this lady comes in and she says, okay, my, my hair you know, is falling, da da da. She said, okay, we have sharp fillers and she runs all the specs, great. But the shopper answers back, says, but I think my hair is falling because uh, I'm stressed or I'm not eating well which in reality are parts of why hair fall. But the salesperson did not listen to that. She just kept hammering on her story, not the shopper's story. She lost her. So as an action point, what we did, first we changed the mix of the sales because they were, they were all uh, Asian women. We, we had some males from Morocco that enhanced the interaction between the team. We also uh, changed the incentive scheme, and then we did training. But this is not a sales training. This was a shopper training. I have identified uh, three shopper profiles. Uh, that's probably 90% of where the sales are happening. One of them, for example, is these lovebirds. Embarking on a new life, they're excited. If you understand where the shopper psychologically is coming from, it's very easy to engage them in a conversation. So, 